Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? Today I am planning to show you that how how I check that are my cars those piston rings burn out. And there is very useful hint that like in here we have this Toyota Camrys motor where is now this mileage something like more than 300,000 miles and this motor should be very good condition this don't this motor don't eat any oil and now I like to check that that what is my piston rings situation and how to check that there is idea that I need to open this oil hat what is in here I will show that it is in that that cap in there and next I open that gap. And then, then there is, I have idea that, that I next start this engine and I check that, that this is like test that how much in that oil hole, in how much in there this this uh, air and this piston area compression come out and I will show that how, how to test that and next I start the engine and if there comes a huge amount of air directly then this my piston rings and pistons are very burned out and next I start the engine They are really dangerous. And in hand in here. There is no any air. And then I insert this cap back. And of course I will turn. Here I can feel those red. Okay, and this this test test purpose was that that when this uh, cap was open in in like in here, and if there games this air pressure out really fast then I can right away, like in some spraying and air comes out in here, I could notice right away that my piston rings are burned out. And this is really excellent test. And then, please remember, be careful because when this motor is running, these spark plugs in here, they can generate really huge electric shock to your hand. And that's the reason, please use all time uh, this rubber close because they protect little bit this against electric skin and then use also protected protective food those uh, this uh, juice sorry and I will show that what is protective shoes there must be a rubber in this this uh, 
this bottom area. Here is protective juice, and there's idea that, that they protect if, if this electric shock comes, that I don't get big shock. But be careful, and, and uh, in that point, when we check that, that uh, fuel, those uh, uh, piston rings condition, and when I insert my hand in here, I test it that if there is huge, uh, huge pressure in inside in here, then my hand will dr dr drop out, pop out in that way. But when it is very stable, this, this pressure, I, I think that my piston rings are very good condition in that Toyota car. And it's, it's really amazing when this car is mileage is so huge, then three, plus 300,000 miles. But uh, this is, this is more, maybe the most durable motors in, in Toyota. And, and this is the reason why this car is most selling car in US, United States. Okay, and then, then we go to look this this piston rings more carefully, and I will I will tell that that what makes this air compression possible that air comp comes in out, and next we look that, and I will tell that that uh, how we can also fix if we have big leaks. Okay, and we continue. Okay, and then, then we continue to analyze that, that what makes this air, air compression, what we saw before, that there is air coming in this oil, oil hat. The reason area is in right in here. And these are those uh, Toyota's cylinders, and in these cylinders there is moving this, this piston in inside of this, this hole. In, in that way. And actually I, I need to press those piston rings in special tool that, that this piston goes in these holes totally. Normally it is in inside of this hole, but in here we can see that, uh, that what is this reason. Now when I insert that piston in here and, and it don't drop totally in inside this hole, this means that in, in here at least this piston ring, what is now in piston ring 3, and there is some compression left. And, and this piston, there is three piston rings, this is the first one, <coughs> and now I saw, this is the first one, then there is second, and this is the third one. And this third one, purpose is that, that it only uh, uh, keeps this oil in the pillow of this line. And that in this down area is oily and this up area is only gasoline on petrol area. And for those those uh, big compression, how this this uh, uh, I noticed that, that I have bad piston rings. It happens so that when in here happened this spark plug gives this uh, spark and then gasoline or petrol uh, start fire and there is huge explosion like bomb in here and then this piston goes in really fast in down and if there are those gaskets there is three these gaskets in here number one second and that third one if they these are burn out then in that line in here and between the cylinder and in their small clump now in that line this high pressure fire exposition go in down and then then in that area when we look in this pillow area there is this motor motors this uh, this oil basement in here and in through this area because there is ho hole where this piston is moving in actually this connection row is moving in that area and there is this uh, crankshaft and then there is direct contact to this uh, cylinder head area and this this the upper area of motor and there is this connection it is just in in here 
this is the this is the reason. In here, when we have this timing chain and timing belt, what is in moving in here and it goes in this up, and in that area in here we have those spark plugs and cylinder head. It is just like in here. I I explained that that I have I take I take one one example. Here is like this. This means that that this is like cylinder head in here, in this way. And then when we have in here this timing chain, this is a whole area in here, and this compression air comes in here. And then when here is this oil cap, what I open, and then this pressure goes out to my hand. And as I show, I insert my hand in in this this. Now I need some oil cap demonstration and I, I take one oil cap and here I have measure this 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 part this Stanley part makes now this oil cap hat in this Toyota Camry and when I open this cap in here then this air comes in directly to out and then I can control in my hand that is there pressure or not. And then I even I write I do in here this oil oil hole. Oil add hole. And here this if there is leak in piston rings and, and actually especially these piston rings are worn out. And I mean that this burn out means that, that this thickness in here it becomes thinner and thinner. And now now this this thickness, let's let's measure that how thick is that. And in that that piston ring is used, and I have here a special meter where we can measure that how what is this piston ring this thickness. I insert that in here and then I carefully I carefully rotate this my measurement. Okay and now now there is this amount and it, it means that that now we have like one two Three, three millimeters and then half in here we have almost this is like almost three millimeter wide this piston ring the most critical area and this is the most critical area. that one is also but but this is the most critical length and and when this piston ring burn out this area becomes smaller and like now we had three millimeter and when it burn out more this becomes smaller like two millimeters and and if we have two two millimeters this uh, this uh, piston ring then I I can guarantee that that this oil add there is going huge amount of pressure out and this is this uh, lesson that that how you can f f quite easily check that that what is this piston and piston rings condition in, in your car because this is the most important part in your engine that you have ticked this uh, uh, touch between this cylinder head and also in piston and, and then there is really yeah, must rule that, that it, it is in Toyota's or every car maker's tolerance that if this is too ticked then we have also problems because then this this two part part uh, weld together and the only only thing what we need that we have good quality oil for lubricates that area all time and this is the lubrication area and this also in little bit upper area but but this is oil oil gasket and this oil ring and it keeps this oil in down and that's the reason why we used to su use so good oil like synthetic oil because they lubricate these pistons better. Okay, 
And this was that information that how you could check that what is your piston ring condition very easily with oil hat. And if you have possibility to deassemble this full engine, in next video I will show that how we can check really accurately that what is this piston ring condition. And it happens so that, that I insert that ring in there and then I need special meter. Because now, when we look in there, there is small, small amount in here, small hole in here. And in next video, I will show that how to measure this small hole in here between the two, two piston rings. And for that, I can't use that meter, and I need other measurement tool. And in next video, I will show that how to check. But what is this piston rings burn on rate when it is in inside? And now, by the way, this, this shows that how this piston rings is normally when it is in connected in this hole. And now I have taken these two piston rings away. There is number second and that one, first one is in here. Okay, and that was all. And thank you for watching and we continue.